Dinosaurs were massive, razor-toothed reptilian beasts that ruled the earth for millions of years, always hunting, always fighting, always dominating. They stomped across the planet during the Mesozoic era, spanning from 252 to 66 million years ago. But what lived before the dinosaurs? Surprisingly, Earth's creatures were highly diverse during the Carboniferous and Permian eras the time before dinosaurs, and also bizarrely enormous. So join us for today's video, as we're going to count down 15 legendary creatures that lived before dinosaurs. Let's kick off things with Number 15. Cenognathus. One thing you may notice about the Cenognathus is that it has hair, which is a trait that most mammals have. That's because Cenognathus belonged to the Therapsids. If you don't know, these are ancient creatures that weren't mammals but were well on their way. It lived roughly 251 to 245 million years ago, just before dinosaurs took over, making it a dominant predator of its time. Fossils have been found in what's now Africa and South America, revealing a creature about the size of a wolf with a deadly toolkit. It had powerful, elongated jaws packed with razor-sharp canines and incisors that tore into small herbivores with ease. Its limbs, short but tucked beneath its body, gave it speed that matched its bite, ideal for fast-paced pack hunting. Unlike the sprawling limbs of reptiles, its posture allowed for efficient and rapid movement, making it a serious threat to its ecosystem. Though it vanished before the age of giants, Cenognathus left its mark as a transitional beast with a legacy buried deep in mammalian roots. Number 14. Arthropleura. If you don't like bugs, you should be happy that you'll never come across an Arthropleura, which is the largest land-dwelling bug ever to exist. This armored millipede didn't just creep, it ruled the forest floor, stretching up to 8 feet long and 18 inches wide. It lived around 320 to 290 million years ago in the steamy swamplands near the equator, areas that now form parts of North America and Europe. Unlike most modern arthropods, it had no predators because nothing was big enough or brave enough to take it on. Its sheer size was made possible by the Earth's higher oxygen levels at the time. When those levels dropped, Arthropleura disappeared, but no one knows if it suffocated out of existence or fell to changing environments. It wasn't venomous and probably fed on decaying plant matter, but that didn't make it less terrifying. Picture this, an enormous multi-legged tank slithering silently through a prehistoric forest floor. That's the stuff of ancient nightmares. Number Tres, East Amenosuchus. The Estaminosuchus may look like a mix between a rhino, a hippo, and a triceratops, but it was neither a mammal nor a dinosaur. It belonged to a branch of synapsids, the same group that would eventually give rise to mammals. Living around 267 million years ago in what is now Russia, this creature stood out for its bizarre skull growths, bony, horn-like structures sprouting from its head like a failed crown. Weighing close to 1,000 pounds and stretching up to 15 feet long, it had a massive body built for bulk, not speed. Its wide mouth was perfect for grazing low vegetation, yet its sharp teeth suggested it might not have stuck strictly to salad. Scientists are still unsure whether it was a herbivore, carnivore, or somewhere in between. It lumbered across the ancient wetlands just before the Great Permian Extinction, the event that wiped out most life on Earth. This guy didn't survive it, but its fossilized remains still puzzle paleontologists today. Number 12. Helicoprion. The Helicoprion first appeared about 270 million years ago, some 40 million years before dinosaurs ever entered the picture. While it looked like a shark, it wasn't part of the shark family at all, it was more closely related to chimeras and ratfish, cartilaginous oddities with ancient roots. But what truly set Helicoprion apart was the nightmarish buzzsaw hidden in its mouth. Instead of rows of teeth, it had a spiral whirl of serrated blades embedded in its lower jaw. This circular blade didn't shed teeth like modern sharks, it just kept growing. When Helicoprion clamped onto prey, the whirl would rotate inward, slicing flesh with brutal efficiency. Unfortunately, since it was made mostly of cartilage, only the tooth whirls survived in the fossil record. 
For decades, scientists had no clue where on the body the whirl even belonged. Eventually, they agreed it was lodged in the jaw. Measuring up to 40 feet long, Helicoprion dominated the ancient seas until it vanished, long before the first dinosaur even hatched. Number 11. Nothosaurus. About 20 million years before the dinosaurs first evolved around 230 million years ago, the first species of Nothosaurus meaning false lizard appeared. It wasn't a dinosaur and it wasn't quite a marine reptile in the modern sense either. What it was was versatile. Nothosaurus had a long snake-like neck, a wide skull and a mouth filled with sharp needle-like teeth, perfect for snagging slippery fish. At around 13 feet long it was built like an aquatic ambush predator, moving stealthily through water and basking on land like a prehistoric seal. Webbed feet and sturdy limbs made it an efficient swimmer, but it wasn't a high-speed chaser. Instead it relied on patience blending in with its environment and striking fast when prey came too close. It's believed to have hunted both underwater and near shorelines, taking advantage of its dual lifestyle. Eventually, Nothosaurus would vanish, but its descendants would evolve into some of the most terrifying marine reptiles to ever exist. What do you think about this beauty? Let us know. Number 10. Inostrance via Alexandri. This monster was the largest known member of the Gorgonopsidae, a family of saber-toothed predators that weren't quite reptiles and definitely not mammals, but something in between. Part of the Therapsida lineage, this beast stretched up to 12 feet in length, with a skull nearly 2 feet long, half of that taken up by fangs. Those teeth weren't just for show. They measured over 6 inches and were built to puncture and tear, capable of slicing through armored prey like it was nothing more than soft hide. Once its canines found purchase, Inostrance via didn't waste time. It used its strong neck muscles to rip flesh clean from bone. Living between 299 and 252 million years ago in what is now northern Russia, it was likely the apex predator of its time. Even other fearsome creatures knew to keep their distance. It roamed right up to the edge of the Permian extinction, disappearing just as Earth's most violent reset wiped the slate nearly clean. Number 9. Thalato Archon Saurophagus. Thalato Archon Saurophagus which means lizard-eating sovereign of the sea, earned its name not from style but from sheer brutal function, it hunted prey the same size as itself. No easy feat, considering it stretched a massive 28 feet long. This early ichthyosaur appeared around 244 million years ago, just 8 million years after the Permian extinction, the greatest die-off in Earth's history. Nearly 95% of all marine life had vanished, and yet Thalato Archon rose from the ashes like a reptilian warship. It didn't nibble at fish, it dominated entire ecosystems. With sharp 4-inch conical teeth, it crushed, pierced, and devoured squid fish and other marine reptiles. As one of the earliest true apex predators in the ocean, its existence proved marine life had not only recovered, but evolved into something even more terrifying. Strangely, Thalato Archon vanished long before the dinosaurs met their end, about 90 million years prior. Why it disappeared remains a mystery, but for a moment in deep time, it ruled the seas without competition. Number 8. Dimetrodon. There is a common misconception that Dimetrodons were dinosaurs. They certainly looked the part, lizard-like, imposing and often packaged in the same toy sets, but they were something altogether different. These creatures were synapsids, a primitive branch more closely related to mammals than reptiles. Dimetrodons roamed Earth between 295 and 272 million years ago, vanishing 40 to 50 million years before the first dinosaur appeared. They were the first known land carnivores with serrated teeth, perfectly designed to tear through flesh. Their prey included amphibians and other early reptiles, and their body length ranged from 5 to 15 feet, depending on the species. But it's the iconic sail on their backs that sparked most debate. This spiny ridge may have regulated body temperature or acted as a mating display, but its true function is still uncertain. What is certain is that Dimetrodon was no slow-moving crawler, 
it was a lethal, efficient predator from a world before giants, and it paved the evolutionary path for what came next. Number 7. Dunkelosteus. Well no, this isn't a nickname Shaquille O'Neal gave himself, though it might have fit. Around 400 million years ago, Dunkelosteus ruled the oceans with a presence that dwarfed modern beasts. This armored fish grew up to 33 feet in length and tipped the scales at over 4 tons. It didn't have teeth, it had sharpened bone plates that acted like shears, capable of delivering a bite force exceeding 1,100 pounds. That's on par with a Tyrannosaurus rex, and more than enough to cleave sharks in two, which is exactly what Dunkelusteus preferred for dinner. It wasn't just massive, it was fast. It could open its jaws in milliseconds, creating suction to pull prey in before the jaws clamped down. This monster ruled until the late Devonian extinction, about 375 to 360 million years ago when up to 87% of marine species vanished. They didn't survive the purge, but its fossilized skulls remained jagged, unflinching and a reminder that the prehistoric seas were far from peaceful. Number 6. Carnifex carolinensis. While there isn't a whole lot known about Carnifex carolinensis, thanks to only two fossils being uncovered, what researchers do know paints a picture that's hard to shake. This nine-foot predator belonged to the Crocodilomorpha family, the same ancient lineage that would eventually evolve into modern crocodiles. But this was no swamp-dwelling ambusher. Carnifex walked on two legs, upright and agile, unlike any croc you've seen. It lived roughly 231 million years ago in what's now North Carolina, stalking through Triassic forests just before the dinosaurs rose to dominance. Its name means butcher, and it earned that title with a skull full of blade-like teeth, ideal for ripping into armored reptiles and early mammals. Fast, sharp, and likely one of the dominant land predators of its time, it was a terrifying example of evolution testing its limits. Carnifex vanished during the Triassic, Jurassic extinction event, about 201 million years ago, but for a brief moment, it was the thing nightmares were made of on two legs and hunting. Number 5. Gorgonopsids. Named after the mythic Gorgon, Gorgonopsids were saber-toothed predators that hunted with precision and power during the Middle to Upper Permian, roughly 270 to 252 million years ago. Their skulls were long and narrow, equipped with enlarged canine teeth that could pierce through flesh and bone. These weren't reckless attackers, they slashed and retreated, bleeding out prey before going in for the final fatal bite. What started as smaller creatures eventually evolved into predators as large as bears, dominating prehistoric ecosystems across regions like Tanzania, Zambia, and Malawi. As members of the therapsids, they represented a key evolutionary step between reptiles and mammals. Their descendants would eventually lead to the cynodonts, and from there to the first true mammals. They likely had rough, rhino-like skin and laid eggs, walking a strange line between primitive and progressive. Before the dinosaurs took center stage, these creatures were the undisputed apex hunters, driven by instinct and shaped by an earth that was still learning what life could become. Number 4. Pyrigotus. This six-foot underwater predator stalked ancient seas like a submarine with pincers. Known as a giant sea scorpion, it belonged to a terrifying lineage of arthropods that ruled Earth's waters long before any fish grew bold enough to challenge them. Instead of a venomous stinger, this creature relied on sheer brute force, massive claws that could grip, crush, and slice its prey into pieces. Its vision was sharp, and its patience was sharper. It would lie in wait perfectly still, until something unsuspecting swam close enough, then it struck. First discovered in Devonian rock layers in Scotland and western England, Turigotus lived from the Silurian through early to mid-Devonian periods. It was a relative of Jacolopterus, the largest known arthropod, and Slimonia, a freshwater cousin. Fossils have been unearthed across the globe, excluding Antarctica. Though nothing like it exists today, its eerie body plan still echoes through modern marine life. A predator with armor, strategy, and monstrous size, it was a relic of raw aquatic dominance. Number 3. Pelicosaurs. Now came a shift that rewired evolution's blueprint. 
Around 300 million years ago, Earth's climate turned hotter and drier. Amphibians, which once thrived in damp, swampy ecosystems, began to falter. Reptiles like Hylanomus took the stage, thriving in new conditions thanks to better temperature regulation and land-based reproduction. Among them emerged a group that would change everything, the Pelucosaurs. Appearing near the end of the Carboniferous and reigning well into the Permian, they adapted fast and spread wide. They weren't dinos. They came long before, but some like Dimitrodon are still mistaken for one. That sail on Dimitrodon's back wasn't for show. It may have helped control body heat or attract mates. Others like Edifosaurus had similar builds but ate plants instead. They weren't just lookalikes, they were predator and prey in one evolutionary standoff. Pelucosaurs were synapsids, sporting a unique skull opening behind each eye, something mammals would later inherit. They stood at the crossroads between the cold-blooded past and warm-blooded future, shaping a legacy we still carry in our DNA. Number 2. Archosaurs. Another group rose beside the Therapsids during the Permian-Triassic transition, the Archosaurs. Their skulls carried two holes behind each eye instead of one, giving them a structural edge and as it turned out, an evolutionary one. Their teeth were more firmly rooted, their limbs evolved quickly, pushing toward upright, bipedal postures. Euparcaria may have been one of the first to stand on two legs, a quiet shift that would lead to something much louder dinosaurs. As the Triassic period wore on, archosaurs split. From one side came small, agile carnivores like Herosaurus and Eoraptor. From the other came two future giants, the crocodilians and the pterosaurs. While dinosaurs burned bright and vanished, the crocs just kept going slow lethal survivors of every extinction. Fossils like Nyasasaurus show us just how early this line started. Long before names like Tyrannosaurus or Velociraptor ruled textbooks, archosaurs had already claimed the evolutionary throne. They didn't just compete with therapsids, they outlasted them, and in many forms they're still not done. Number 1. Meganeura. The Meganeura was not your average bug. It was the largest flying insect ever discovered, gliding through carboniferous forests with a wingspan nearing 26 inches. It looked like a dragonfly on steroids, bigger, faster, and a whole lot hungrier. It didn't sip nectar or rest on flowers. It hunted. Its prey included smaller insects, spiders, and even small amphibians. The air back then carried more oxygen over 30% compared to today's 21%, allowing creatures like Meganeura to grow far beyond modern limits. Its larvae were just as monstrous, measuring up to a foot long and likely just as predatory as the adults. The first fossil was unearthed in France in 1880, and since then Meganeura has become a symbol of prehistoric gigantism. Part of the now extinct Meganisoptera order, it shared features with modern dragonflies but belonged to a far wilder world. It wasn't just an oversized insect, it was a ruling aerial predator during an age when plants ruled the land and bugs ruled the skies. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for hanging with us, and we'll see you soon in the next one.